What's going on guys, it's Mike Goldfield here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new tutorial on how to make a minimalist logo design in Adobe Illustrator. And uh, what you're going to want to do first is file new. And I prefer the width to be 5000 by 5000. So it's a pretty massive page so you have a lot to work with. And um, what I'm going to first do is make a circle and I'm going to go ahead and make an R logo because I've been getting a lot of requests for our logo since they seem hard to make I guess so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Eclipse tool I'm going to switch the colors I'm gonna select the stroke cancel out the stroke so there's no longer a stroke and I'm just gonna make a circle go ahead and put this in the center of it right there zoom in by holding alt scrolling on the, in the mouse All right. So now I have this basic circle. I'm going to go ahead and stroke it. If you don't have a stroke out here, you want to go to Window and Stroke. It should pop up. And if you don't have all these options right here, there should be a little like arrow right here. You click that and you say Show Options or Show Advanced Options. All right, so you select the circle and just scroll up on the width. And what you want to do is go back to the color palette, select the stroke and just go ahead and make it red and you're going to want to make it in the inside and just keep holding down until it's a reasonable size I'm going to go with 110 it would vary depending on how big your guys circle is so like just keep scrolling till it looks pretty much like this what I want to do now is I want to object path outline stroke what that does it outlines the stroke exactly and hold alt after selecting the shape builder tool hold alt and then cut it <clears throat> so now you have a hollow circle right here and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this red color so I'm gonna go into my layers and just drag the red circle to the trash so now I just have a black circle that's it all right, now what I'm going to want to do is I want to make the R kind of inside the circle. So I want to make the legs the same exact width as I have the circle. So I'm going to go ahead and find the line of symmetry and find the anchor point and just drag it like that until it clicks. So now I have a rectangle that's the perfect width of this circle and I'm gonna go ahead and just put that right around here it looks pretty good and I'm just gonna drag it all the way and all the way so now it looks like that and I'm gonna duplicate this by hitting alt and dragging down and put that around here all right so what you should have right now is a circle with two lines in it essentially one near the middle alright and now I'm gonna make the curve of the R the very front so I'm gonna go ahead and get my eclipse tool again go to the top of the first rectangle hold shift drag down until the very bottom clicks like that and I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here I'm gonna kinda lap it inside the other circle just for an effect just barely so what we should have now is this and what I'm going to do now is I am going to stroke this circle so this flows into it gently so I'm just gonna stroke it remember to put it on the inside and I think it was around 110 for me Let's see if it was yes all right so now you just if you want to see if it's aligned you just select the object opacity and just turn it down and, and just zoom in to see if the rectangle is aligned with the circle so mine is so I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with this um, turn the opacity all the way up I'm gonna go object path outline stroke and then choose the shape builder tool alt delete the middle 
Now I'm going to get rid of this red color again, so I'm going to go into my layers panel and delete the red one. So now it's completely gone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and select these three objects. And I'm going to click the shape builder tool. I'm going to hold alt, delete this part, and delete this part, and delete this part. So now all I have is this sort of object. And now what I'm going to want to do is select this rectangle, duplicate it by holding alt and dragging down, and I'm just going to make it really long really long and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up a little bit so it's just a regular rectangle so what I'm gonna do is select a square tool select both of them shape builder tool and just alt and cut it so now I just have this so what I can do with this is now make the stick the leg of the R and I'm gonna go ahead and just rotate it it should have the rotate option right here if you select it and you just scroll around the corners I'm gonna go right here and see. It looks reasonable. I'm gonna go ahead and bend it just a little bit more. That looks pretty good. All right. So after you've done that, you want to cut up the R just a little bit more. So I'm gonna hold Shift and I'm gonna select the entire thing. So now everything is selected. Go to your Shape Builder tool and just start cutting it up. So what I'm going to start with is this stick right here. This one. And then this one. So now what you have is a basic R. So it looks pretty clean, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to add a little another stick right here because it looks kind of bland and plain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I did with the bottom one except I'm going to do it with the top one. I'm going to hold alt and drag this down. Once I've done that, I'm going to stretch it really long and select the square tool, select both of them, shape builder tool and cut it up. All right. So I'm going to try and get this at the same angle this is. And by doing that, I just rotate it. And let's see if it coincides a little bit parallel. So just rotate it until you have a perfect fit. There we go. And I'm just going to put this right over here. That should be good. All right. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So I want to take the top one again to use as a reference. So Alt and just drag it down until it clicks. Select both of these. Go ahead and cut this, cut this, cut this, and this. And I'm going to select the circle and then cut this part. Now I have the basic R, so it looks pretty clean, pretty minimalist. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little piece more to make it just look a little bit different and tidier. So this piece right here, between these two sticks, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So I'm gonna just use the the selection tool and just drag it across. Now I have this little square in here. So I'm gonna pick the shape builder tool, hold alt and delete that part. So now I have the R logo fully vectored, uh, perfectly aligned, very smooth. And you could basically take this, you select it all, and then what you want to do is go to the Pathfinder, which is in Windows, Pathfinder. And once you have that, in Shape Mode, it's going to be this one right here. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to click this. And now the entire shape is all one shape. So as you can see in the layers, it's all aligned. So it's all connected. And basically, with this, you can expand it as much as you want. You can put it on a shirt, a logo, use it as your own branding, anything you guys want. So... Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and check out my Twitter and all the links in the description. And, yeah, thank you, guys.